Well, Robin, Julie, the older sister of one of the quarantine residents says her little brother and his wife will receive big hugs and a big dinner when they get home tonight. Their story, though, begins weeks before the quarantine in Nebraska. Their ordeal in Omaha is over. Amanji and Chun Zhao Habibi, two of the 57 Americans, are finally cleared from the coronavirus quarantine and ready to catch a flight home to Portland. Yeah, I'm just excited to see them and hug them and just be in their company. Anxious family members are ready too. I spoke with Amanji's older sister in Portland. She's relieved her family is safe but can't stop thinking of others. It's really heartbreaking because you have to think about all the people that um, aren't as lucky or weren't as lucky as my brother and who got infected, who, you know, lost their lives because of this. The couple's quest to get home from China practically started the day they landed in Wuhan in mid-January to visit Chun Chao's parents. They didn't go out of that um, house for the 17 days, basically, that they were in China. <laughs> Um, and then they went straight from a car to the airport, back onto a plane, and then uh, quarantine. Back in America, in Nebraska, they spent another two weeks under close doctor's watch at Camp Ashland. They felt like it was somewhere between a prison and house arrest because you can't go out, you can't do anything and you're stuck. I mean, there's you don't have a choice. The family wonders if in some strange way this unplanned itinerary was meant to be since the couple started researching Omaha as a place to live. And we had a whole group chat, the whole family, and we were just like, Omaha, <laughs> you know, hey, you guys finally made your wish come true. You guys are in Omaha, Nebraska. Now, Nasky doesn't know if they do plan to move here after their ordeal here, but she says her brother and her sister-in-law just want to get their lives back to normal. He works in bank fraud. She's a grad student who teaches Chinese to children, and again, both are healthy.